This month in the backyard, we've got hibiscus bigger than my hand and purple and pink rose of Sharon in bloom. You guys, I'm just the world's worst blogger. I get so excited. The zucchini are ready that I forget to show you before I pick them. But the zucchini are ready and we have two for dinner tonight. As you can see guys, we've got topside all weeded now. Trimmed up our boxwood, cleared out to the irises, all the way trimmed up the spirea. Tomorrow we're going to do some planting and mulching. Hey guys, I remembered to film it. The zucchini is ready. Look how big that guy got in just like a day or two. That one's got something wrong with him. We're going to go ahead and pick him and get him out of the way though. Beautiful August morning. The Rose of Sharon hedge is blooming away. These guys are all volunteers. These guys were just seedlings when we started them. Pink and purple. Tomatoes are super, super crazy. Hmm. Maybe we'll plant fewer next year. I don't know. We'll just have to see how this goes, I guess. And then, okay, over here, we've got the cucumbers taken over, which I knew was going to happen, you know. But the peppers are still getting themselves little babies. And the basil is still not picked. Oh, look, it's so exciting. Oh, it's so disappointing. Isn't that a bummer? Dang it. Well, better luck next time. Forgot to save the footage of these guys on the vine. Four cucumbers and another zucchini. And I went ahead and picked these guys because I didn't want them to have a tragic accident. So they can just stay in here and redden up. I think I'm going to shred this zucchini and put it in the freezer for the time being. I'm seeing a lot of recipes for zucchini bread, so I'll try those out later. Meanwhile, out in the front bed, the columbine are going to seed. But uh, we went ahead and planted three new ones. Anyway, they're past their bloom time, but maybe they'll get established. And we'll get a couple varieties. These guys are your regular pink and white variety. And then the new guys are the ruffly looking ones. So wouldn't it be cool if next year we saw some hummingbirds out here? Okay, we're going to put in another coral bell. So there'll be one for the little girl and one for the little boy. going to put in a new clematis for my obelisk. And this little blue mound foliage guy. And a new rose bush. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys the sidewalk view. So there's two tiers with the hostas on the low tier. And then up top, I've got my little girl, my little boy with their coral bells. Gonna have that clematis climbing up. Little hosta right there. Boxwood. Owlis in the back. Little rose bush. Still getting some pretty blooms on my double impatience. I forgot to show you this this morning. Remember that part of the zucchini that fell off? Well, he planted himself into the yard. And I don't know if my husband's going to allow him to stay there when he mows. So I thought I'd show him to you. And that's what's happening in the garden this week.